All right, guys, what an amazing, amazing day it is today. It is finally here. I have a cup of, a nice cup of Joe. Everybody's been waiting for this day for a long time. It's finally here. We have a lot of awesome information to share with you guys. Sandy from Holy Shift is coming by. We're gonna be watching the reveal live on the TV. I'm going to break it down, all the new models. We're gonna talk about it together. Please comment down below. If you guys are new to this channel, this is my 2020 Road Glide Special Performance Bagger. Paint job done by Chad over at Hamptons Designs in North Carolina. T-Man 130 motor, putting out 154 horsepower and 156 foot-pounds of torque. Done by Dave at JD Cycle Works. Chromeworks exhaust, Legend suspension front and back. Clockworks front windshield and front fender. Arlen S big brake rotor kit. LA choppers, bars, Flow Motorsport levers, Memphis shades, hand guards. We got a lot, a lot of components on here. We have a zippers, chain drive kit, Man of War compensator, and Dark Horse Crankworks crankshaft. We have the bike done proper now. So if you guys feel you're gonna get any kind of value from this, we do ride videos, build videos, upgrade videos, please do me a favor, consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up, would really appreciate it. All right, so I got Mr. Uh, Holy Shift here in the building ready. We got the TV ready right now. Let me show you guys, because on his website, check out this, here, hold this camera. Gotcha. Check out, check out this, you got it? Yeah. Hold, put that down, the caca. <laughs> so I could show him the uh, badass t-shirt right there. Very cool. But check it out, this is what's cool. He got it actually when he flies to Israel. That's very cool. So there were, well you know about them, don't you? <laughs> They're your t-shirts. So you could get this on what uh, website? www.holyshift.us There you go. I'll leave the link down below in the description. He's got a bunch of sizes. Uh, he's got them in black. I got a black one over there from my boy Brad. Um, you got poker chips? Poker chips from Israel. He's got poker chips from Israel. These cool t-shirts. So we're gonna get started. We just had some little breakfast. I made him a little uh, egg in Taylor ham, egg and cheese burrito. Oh, good. Charged him only 30 bucks for it. <laughs> That's a, a discount. All right guys, so the head of Harley-Davidson basically just went over a bunch of history on the company and went over what happened new in 2021, kind of a recap. And then it just went straight into this. Is it about that Harley-Davidson horsepower? Side by side, they're going to turn number one. And we have a national champion again at Harley-Davidson running the Screaming Eagle Road Glide, and that is Kyle Wyman. Harley-Davidson Road Glide. If that looks familiar to you, it's a heavily modified Harley-Davidson. Taking your production touring models that you see on the streets every day and uh, seeing what we can really get out of them on the racetrack. So once they started showing all of the King of the Bagger stuff, them winning the championship, the championship team, everybody knew, I knew that they're definitely going to be coming out with some kind of performance bagger model. Bikes can have. We got into light weighting, we got into raising suspension and lean angle. We started uncovering everything that we could do to truly make a performance bagger race bike. After hours, weekends, a lot, lot, a lot of hours, blood, sweat, and tears. Here at Michelin Raceway Road, Atlanta, our first race this season. We went into that with a lot of testing that we'd done leading up to it, but it was on a very short, compressed time schedule. Kyle Lime is starting to spin up the rear of that Dunlop. Proper f***ing race bike. The speed that these guys are going around this track is pretty impressive for the units that they're on. Kyle Wyman that last time by 27. So here it goes, Road Glide ST and Street Glide ST. Wow. 
Wow, what a move, what a move. This is great. So you got, uh, I believe you have the black on both models and the dark gray. I'm really digging the dark gray. Looks like it has the same color wheels as the Lowrider S. Look at that, it's got the fender, the smaller fender. 117 motor, nice big intake. That looks really, really good. The dark gray, let me know, hit me in up, up in the comments, guys. Let me know what you guys think. You can see it has the different engine guard on it. It has the gold accents to match the wheels on the rocker covers. That's the Lowrider S right there. Street glide, road glide. You can see the exhaust. Really nice looking seat. It has uh, upgraded. All these things are also upgradable. The seat, the windshield. I believe you could get a 131 right there. You could get the 131 on it. Nice Screaming Eagle exhaust. You got also Olin's shocks. Screaming Eagle Olin's shocks on it. And I believe all of these items are things that you can get as far as an upgrade package. I'm not sure yet exactly how it's going to come straight off the showroom floor, but this is really, really nice. Now these are the colors of the CVOs. You have the green and black with the flames. That's really nice, but I love that one right there, the orange one. It's amazing. That orange and black CVO is really, really beautiful. The, I, I like all of the colors. I'm really loving the black and the yellow right there and the black and the orange. That's really nice as well. The, they're all nice, they're all nice. Don't get me wrong, I think I really like the black and the orange. Really nostalgic, Harley Davidson nostalgia. Oh, that is beautiful right there, gorgeous. That black and yellow looks really nice as well. You can see them doing the pinstripe and oh look at that orange that is just absolutely beautiful that's really nice too looks like look like a trike right there so this black and yellow looks really nice 117 motor still on the cvo's you have the green right there the green and the black with the flames that looks that looks really nice wow that's really that's a really really hot color i i like that Looks like the paint scheme, if I'm not mistaken, of the previous model. Also, you got Alcantara leather on the CVOs. And here you have the Lowrider S also. All the, the Lowrider S, Lowrider ST, and the Street Glide and Road Glide ST all come in two color, two color choices, the black and the dark gray. I think I prefer, right there is the ST. I prefer, I think, the uh, dark gray. I, I really, I, th I like that color. If I were to choose one, either a Road Glide or the Lowrider ST, I would probably choose the dark gray. But that Lowrider S, I'm really hyped up on that bike. Um, that just, I think it looks really good. It's got the 117 motor. It being probably a little over 600 pounds, 117 with a stage two, nice, cam and exhaust on it that thing is going to rip it's got a beautiful beautiful fairing on it audio system bags i just i'm really really digging the look i really love it i 
I really would have liked to seen probably maybe a couple different other color choices on the uh, all the ST models. That would have been cool. But they still look really, really good. The Lowrider S has the uh, gauges right there on the handlebar. They took them off the console. They put all the gauges, the gauge cluster up on the handlebar. And that fairing, oh wow, look at that. That fairing on the ST looks really, really, really nice. Love it. I really like how they did that. Beautiful design on that fairing. That Look at that. That's a hot bike. That's, that's really nice. Definitely going to be obviously lighter, more maneuverable with the 117, a lot of power, a lot of potential uh, to do a lot of power, get a lot of power out of that bike. And being, like I said, that it's just so light, you have a really light, high performance, power to weight ratio bagger right there. It's really, really nice. Love that gray. That that is that looks really nice with the gold uh, wheels. Really short, nice short bags. I believe they they might even look a little shorter than the ones on the on the uh, Sport Glide. It's got a nice windshield down there. Rockford Fosgate stereo system on the bike. I mean, it's got it all. I can't wait to see this thing up in person. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are the new models for 2022. You have the Lowrider S, the Lowrider ST, you have the Street Glide ST and the Road Glide ST all come in two colors, the black and the dark gray. And then you have the four color choices for the CVOs. A lot of upgrades, performance upgrades on the Street Glide and Road Glide STs with the 117 motor, also the low rider. Now S and ST have the 117 motor, so that's big. So, I don't know, I think it's a win. Everybody, obviously, that has a bagger, almost everyone, are definitely doing all of these performance upgrades to their bike. Now, if they either don't wanna be bothered afterwards or just don't wanna do it themselves or don't have anybody do it themselves, now they could basically get a, I wouldn't say a total performance bagger, say like, like my bike or others, but it's definitely um, geared towards more performance, being that you have the bigger motor, you could get the upgraded suspension, the front fender, the intake, the exhaust. Now you have these choices for the bike that you purchased straight from Harley Davidson, basically right out the door, just pick it up. You have a lot of upgrades on the performance the lowrider st i think it's i think that's a, a huge win i love the front fairing i love how the bike looks with the bags i just think that's a slam dunk on harley davidson's part i think that bike looks awesome so i can't wait to see all of the bikes definitely stay tuned guys because i have some huge news here in a couple days that i'm going to share with you guys that i've been holding on to for a past couple months so uh, definitely stay tuned for that and also the CVO paint colors like them all but definitely love the orange and the black I think that looks absolutely amazing so uh, that's it here guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about all the new models um, I got a bunch of editing to do I have like probably 10 videos I have to edit for you guys and we are leaving uh, for Sun Special in a couple weeks then right after that, we're gonna be in Daytona, March 6th to March 11th. So definitely come on by. I will give you guys an update as far as where I'm going to be at, what vendors, doing some meet and greets. So I would love to say hi to you guys, so come on by. 
And uh, that's it on this one. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.